it's Kaylin and welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a minute since I did a favorite deep conditioner video and that's literally because like every single deep conditioner that I've been buying has been like a complete fail. Like I don't know like just recently I have not been buying good deep conditioners. So I know you guys have been waiting for an updated favorite deep conditioner video but I don't really have like a lot of new favorites just because everything has been like a flop lately but I think it's important to tell y'all at least the ones that didn't work for me too just so y'all know like what I've tried and what I haven't tried so yeah. Okay, so the first deep conditioner that I'm going to talk about is the Miel Organics Bevisil Oil Mint Deep Conditioner. It's supposed to be a protein treatment and a moisture replenisher in one. Yeah, it smells really, really good and it smells even better when it's like actually on your hair. It has like a lemonade mint type of smell. It smells so good. So I saw a lot of hype around this product so I wanted to give it a try. So when I applied this, I swore I was going to have amazing results, but when it was time to actually like rinse it out, my hair was so dry. Like it made me look at the bottle again and I realized that it had protein in it and my hair is not like a fan of protein. Like it says it's for moisture and protein, but I feel like my hair felt more the protein than it did the moisture. And that's not my goal. Like, I look solely for moisture. I don't look for protein in anything that I buy, honestly, because my hair really just doesn't need protein. So I don't think it was a bad product, like, at all. It just, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought it was going to be moisturizing, but it just, it wasn't for my hair. And my hair is very, very protein sensitive. Okay, the next deep conditioner that I'm going to show you guys is the Ultra Rich Moisture Mask by Macadamia Professional. Now, I love the green one, the one that everybody buys, and when I looked on the website, um, this one said that it was for like coarser, kinkier hair textures. Even right here, it says texture. It's for very coarse slash coiled hair. So when I bought this, like I knew it was going to be a game changer just because the green one is not made for my hair per se, but this one is. Y'all, when I rinsed this out, my hair was so dry and so brittle like I literally had to look at the bottle again to make sure that I didn't pick up a cleanser on accident like this product has a lot of different ingredients in it but two of the main ingredients are argan oil and shea butter and both of those products just do not work for my hair especially argan oil any product with argan oil never works out for my hair and a shea butter a lot of people are like hyped up about shea butter i do not think shea butter is that moisturizing like i feel like it's way too thick to even penetrate like my hair so i'm not really the biggest fan of shea butter i just think it's too thick it's cool for skin but for hair it's too thick and argan oil is just dry like i never get any moisturizing properties from it whatsoever what I've been doing with deep conditioners that didn't work for me is I DIY them. So I'll just add like a banana or I'll add like a lot of extra oil in it because the oil is going to combat like how bad the deep conditioner is basically. So if you have a bad deep conditioner, add a lot of oil to it. Okay, the next deep conditioner that I tried is this Jane Carter Solution Healthy Hair Revive and Repair Mask. Y'all. I don't want to say I'm obsessed with this hair mask, but I do really, really like this hair mask. But it applies very smoothly. You don't need a whole lot of it. like. And it says it's made with maracuja oil and coconut oil. So if you don't like coconut oil, then you probably won't be a fan of this. It has a very, very light smell. It smells good. But when I wash my hair with this, like, my hair definitely is moisturized. Like, I feel like my hair, like, retains moisture better when I use it. And my hair is noticeably soft when I use this. That's one thing that my hair is. It's, it's more soft than it is moisturizing. But I, I really like this. Like, it works for me. I would definitely use it again. Okay, another deep conditioner that I've tried is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen Restore Treatment Mask. Deep conditioner's names are so long, y'all, but I love this. I love this mask. Just like 
any Shea Moisture mask. Y'all know I love all Shea Moisture's hair masks. And this one, this one is super moisturizing. It makes my curls like very defined and my curls are, I'm not gonna lie, like my curls are kind of oily when I use this just because the Jamaican black castor oil is so thick and it's not made to penetrate. It's more so made to seal so it kind of sort of sits on top of your hair. But after like a day or two, like anything else, like you know it absorbs and your hair like starts to fluff back out a little bit but I really like this deep conditioner just because it's so moisturizing and the last deep conditioner that I'm going to talk about is the Eden Body Works coconut hair mask treatment I used just a little pack that you could buy for like I don't know how much it was two dollars something like that I used the pack that pack was almost enough but it wasn't quite enough y'all that mask is so thick I was having the hardest time just spreading it throughout each section that's how thick it was it was so thick and dry like I knew immediately I knew it wasn't gonna work when I was applying it to my hair because it was just so thick and dry literally like toothpaste I had to constantly keep wetting my hair to even apply it like I'm literally like taking my hair and just dipping it back under the water just so it could be wet enough to try to run this product through my hair that's how dry and thick it was so after I applied the deep conditioner I apply olive oil over it you guys know I always apply an oil on top of my deep conditioners normally olive oil for the most part it's pretty much olive oil I always add olive oil on top of my deep conditioners but this time like I added a lot of olive oil because I just knew that deep conditioner wasn't gonna work so when I rinsed it out like my hair was it was moisturized and my hair was really really soft So yeah, those are my favorite deep conditioners or deep conditioners that I tried, both deep conditioners that I don't like and deep conditioners that I do like. If you guys want to see part one to this video, which is basically another video with all my favorite deep conditioners, and they're still my favorite, then click the link. The link is going to be somewhere. If you guys like this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you guys want a video on my favorite leave-in conditioners, then leave a comment down below and I'll definitely get one out for you guys. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.